Imagine a life where money worries are a thing of the past, where you can live the life of your dreams without a care in the world. That's the promise of mastering the rules of wealth building. In this thrilling journey, we'll uncover the secrets to financial freedom, guiding you through the twists and turns of smart money management. Get ready to unlock the door to a wealthier, more fulfilling future. Hello there. Welcome to the wild and wonderful world of wealth building. I'm here to spill the beans on how to stack up those shiny coins and live your best life. Now, before you roll your eyes and think, here we go. Another boring lecture on saving and investing. Hold up. I promise to make this as entertaining and compulsively readable as possible. So, picture this. You're lounging on a hammock, sipping a refreshing drink, and feeling the warm sun on your skin. Sounds like paradise, right? Well, that's the dream life we're aiming for, and it's totally within reach if you play your cards right. Now, let's get one thing straight from the get-go. Building wealth isn't just about luck or being born into the right family. It's about understanding the rules of the game and playing them like a boss. Think of it like leveling up in your favorite video game. You start off small, but with the right strategies, you can conquer the financial world. Rule number one, live below your means. I know, I know, it sounds boring, but bear with me. By spending less than you earn, you'll have extra cash to stash away for a rainy day. And trust me, those rainy days will come. Whether it's a sudden job loss or a surprise car repair, having a financial cushion will save you from stress and sleepless nights. Rule number two, invest, invest, invest. But not in just any old thing. Aim for top-notch assets that will grow over time. Think of it like planting seeds in a garden. You want to pick the best seeds, assets, and give them time to sprout and flourish. Sure, there will be ups and downs, but in the long run, your garden, portfolio, will be blooming with wealth. Rule number three, level up your earning potential. Whether it's getting a raise at your job, starting a side hustle, or learning new skills, the more money you make, the more you can invest. It's like a snowball effect. The bigger it gets, the faster it rolls, and the more wealth you accumulate. Now, I get it. This all sounds great in theory, but how do you actually put these rules into action? That's where I come in. I'll be your guide, your financial guru, your money-saving superhero. Together, We'll explore the world of personal finance, from budgeting tips to investment strategies, and everything in between. So, grab a seat, buckle up, and get ready for the ride of your life. We're about to embark on a journey to financial freedom, and I can't wait to see where it takes us. Let's do this. Over the years, I have learned that acquiring wealth is about understanding the rules that govern wealth. It has little to do with the color of your skin, your religion or whether you deserve to be wealthy or not. The rules of wealth are like gravity. Gravity does not distinguish between people that are good and people that are bad. The principles of gravity apply to all equally. The principles of wealth accumulation are same thing. They are blind and apply to all equally. Over my years of building wealth, there are certain fundamental rules that I have identified. Rule number one, live below your means, along with some practical life examples. All right, listen up, folks. Rule number one in the game of wealth building is to live below your means. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I love my daily Starbucks fix and weekend shopping sprees. Trust me, I get it. But if you want to stack those coins and build a solid financial future, you gotta make some sacrifices. Living below your means doesn't mean you have to become a hermit and eat ramen noodles every day. 
Unless you're into that sort of thing, it simply means spending less than you earn. So, if your paycheck is $1,000, don't go out and spend $1,200. It's simple math, really. Practical example time. Let's say you're eyeing that fancy new smartphone that costs $1,000. Instead of whipping out your credit card and going into debt, why not wait a few months and save up for it? By then, you might even find a better deal or decide you don't need it after all. It's all about making smart choices with your money. Living below your means also means being mindful of your expenses. Do you really need that daily latte from the coffee shop? Could you make your own coffee at home and save a few bucks? Little changes like these can add up over time and leave you with more money in your pocket. Another practical tip is to create a budget and stick to it. I know, budgets can be boring, but they're a game changer when it comes to managing your money. Track your income and expenses, and find areas where you can cut back. Maybe it's dining out less often or cancelling that subscription service you never use. Living below your means isn't about depriving yourself of the things you love. It's about being intentional with your spending and prioritizing your financial goals. So, the next time you're tempted to splurge on something, ask yourself if it's worth sacrificing your financial freedom for. Remember, building wealth is a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time, discipline, and a whole lot of patience. But trust me, when you see those savings grow and your financial stress melt away, it'll all be worth it. So, start living below your means today and pave the way to a brighter financial future. You've got this. Rule number two, buy great assets and hold them for the long term, with practical life examples. Savvy Wealth Builder Rule number two is all about buying awesome assets and holding on to them like your favorite childhood toy. We're talking about investments that have the potential to grow over time, making you richer than you ever thought possible. So, what are these magical assets? Well, they could be anything from stocks and bonds to real estate and even rare collectibles. The key is to choose wisely and then hang on to them for the long haul, letting them work their magic. Let's dive into some real-life examples, shall we? Imagine you've saved up some cash and you're itching to invest. Instead of blowing it all on the latest tech gadgets or trendy clothes, you decide to buy some shares in a well-established company. You do your research, pick a winner, and then sit back and watch as your investment grows over the years. That's the power of buying great assets and holding on to them. Or how about this? You inherit a piece of land from a relative. Instead of selling it off right away, you decide to hold on to it and see what happens. Fast forward a few years, and that piece of land is now in a prime location, worth 10 times what it was originally. By holding on to it, you've turned a modest inheritance into a small fortune. Another example is investing in yourself. Let's say you decide to go back to school and get a degree in a high demand field. It's a big investment of time and money, but you know that in the long run, it will pay off. Sure enough, a few years down the line, you land a high paying job in your field and start reaping the rewards of your investment. The key to success with this rule is patience and discipline. It's not about making quick bucks or trying to time the market. It's about making smart choices, sticking to your guns, and letting your investments grow over time. So, the next time you're tempted to cash out early, remember the golden rule. Buy great assets and hold on to them for the long term. Your future self will thank you for it. Rule number three. Improve your ability to earn, with practical life examples. Rule number three is all about boosting your earning power so you can stack those coins even faster. It's like leveling up in a video game. The more you improve your skills, the more money you can make. So, 
How do you improve your ability to earn? Well, there are a few ways you can do it. You could get better at your current job, start a side hustle, or even take the leap and start your own business. The key is to find something you're passionate about and then go all in. Let's dive into some real life examples, shall we? Imagine you're working a 9 to 5 job and you're doing okay, but you know you could do better. You decide to take some online courses to improve your skills and make yourself more valuable to your employer. Fast forward a few months, and you're not only excelling at your job, but you've also landed a promotion and a nice bump in salary. Or how about this? You've always had a knack for writing, so you decide to start a blog in your spare time. You write about topics you're passionate about, and before you know it, you've built up a loyal following. You start monetizing your blog through ads and sponsored content, and suddenly, you're making more money from your side hustle than you ever did at your day job. Another example is investing in yourself. Let's say you've always been interested in graphic design, but you've never had the time to pursue it. You decide to enroll in a graphic design course and hone your skills. Soon, you're taking on freelance design projects on the side and earning extra income doing what you love. The key to success with this rule is to never stop learning and growing. The world is constantly changing, and the more skills you have, the more opportunities you'll have to earn money. So, whether it's taking a class, starting a side hustle, or networking with like-minded individuals, always be on the lookout for ways to improve your earning potential. Your bank account will thank you for it. In conclusion, building wealth is like embarking on an epic quest. It requires you to play by the rules, but with a little bit of strategy and a whole lot of determination, you can reach the treasure at the end of the rainbow. Remember, living below your means, buying great assets, and improving your earning potential are the three pillars of wealth building. It's not about getting rich quick or taking unnecessary risks. It's about making smart choices with your money and setting yourself up for long-term success. So, whether you're just starting out on your wealth building journey or you're a seasoned pro, keep these rules in mind and watch your wealth grow. Who knows, maybe one day you'll be the one lounging on that hammock, sipping a drink, and enjoying the fruits of your labor. Cheers to your financial future. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Have a fantastic day, and remember, your financial future starts now.